uh, just exist. And to follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the putting it out there, the people are going to say that you are yeah, I put promoting. it out there, just like you put things out there, right? Yeah, but I, okay. I, it's not You put things out there for a living, right? Right, but my Great. stuff is Great. not so let's move on. filled let's with anti-Semitic stuff. Let's move on. Don't dehumanize me up here. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing I'm that. You're free being. to post I can what, post whatever I want, so say that what, and shut it down and move on to the next question. But Kyrie, you have to understand that by I don't have post, to understand anything from you. But, but it's not me. Nothing. By it's no people that you're making up, bro. Move on. But by posting what you did. Move on, next question. Next Anybody question. Do you guys have any more questions for me? They're gonna say, Do you guys have any more questions? Because this is going to be a clip. Beliefs. This is going to be a clip that he's going to marvel at. Is this any more questions? But you're not answering the question. Oh, this, this is another answering your question. Oh my God! Let's make another Instagram clip so we can be famous again. Next question. Kyrie, basketball related. So if y'all have just watched the, the 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 first clip in this video of Kyrie, you know, getting attacked by the media over his over him promote, I guess his quote unquote promoting, you know, an anti-Semitic film. Now, um, I just think it's very very funny now. Now ESPN is turning to Fox News and CNN. Who knew that an NBA post game press conference where where we're supposed to be talking about how they played, you know, the, the uh, how how was the offense, how was the defense tonight, whatever. And now we're talking about politics. And you're talking about politics with a with a bunch of people who are sports reporters. They are journalists. They have their degrees are probably in journalism, marketing, stuff like that. They don't really. They're not politicians. So a lot of them, honestly, probably haven't even seen the movie or 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 know very much about it. You're just going off of well, okay, it's anti-Semitic automatically without even watching the movie. So you don't even really know what you're talking about. Even seeing Shannon Sharp this morning on Undisputed. And him and him and him going at Kyrie saying that you know we shouldn't listen to anything Kyrie has to say. He's a great basketball player, but um, you know he 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 talks kind of wacky and you know all this type of stuff. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wild because I know for a fact if Kyrie had posted a bit, if Kyrie had posted a clip of a rap video or something like that, there will be no no type of pushback on it. A black a black person can say that um, you know I'm I'm Muslim, I'm atheist, I'm Buddhist, but the second he says that oh I'm Jewish, it's a problem. Now it's all this pushback. And now the word anti-Semitic is being thrown around a little bit too much now. Everything's anti-Semitic. Whether you see whether you see something good or bad about the Hewish people, I don't want to say the word because you know it's it's very sensitive right now online. You say that if you talk about them at all, it's a problem. And it's automatically anti am I anti-Semitism because you want to speak facts, you want to give people an opportunity to learn about their ancestry. Because, you know, like, if we're going to take it back to slavery, let's go. I mean, let's take it there. One of the, that, was, that was one of the main objectives of slave owners was to try to get all of the all of their slave traditions from Africa out of them and forget about it. Right? So they can be programmed with, so that, so they can be programmed with whatever ideology that they wanted to put into them. Now, it worked. Because today, you look at most African Americans and you ask them, hey, where are you from, bro? Uh, I'm from uh, Jackson, Mississippi. No, no, no. Where are you from? I don't know. And they can't give you the, and they can't give you an answer. They can only give you the an answer of where they're from in America. You know, people like me who you know I'm first generation, so I know I know I'm Liberian for sure because both my parents are immigrants. So it's a little bit easier for somebody like me. But, but for the majority of Americans, of Black Americans, they don't know where they're from. They don't know their heritage and their ancestry at all. So people like Kyrie, who I think is doing the Lord's work with with using his platform to promote. Um, Black people learning their ancestry and learning where they come from, you know, I think it's a great thing. But the media want to paint it as if he's trying to 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 start like a race war or something. I just find it very very interesting. You know, like everybody has something to say. Everybody everybody is is make, is trying to paint people is trying to paint Kyrie and Kanye as these people who are trying to be very very divisive. When in reality, when you do this, is that when you do research and you learn about you know Jewish people, especially even with Kanye with the whole. You know them, them in the media and and the in the industry and stuff like that, and them and they're being labeled anti-Semitic to say that they have that much power, but then you go and do research and you're like, no, y'all, y'all have a lot of power, y'all definitely do. It's like, what are you trying to hide? Are you are you trying to deny the power that you have because you don't want to put an extra target on your back, or do you, or do you simply not have enough research done to know what you're talking about and you're just going with it and, and, and you're just going with the whole anti-semitism thing that everybody else is saying i don't know what's going on man but i just 
I just find it it's just interesting that, like now I've I've heard I've heard way too much about Kanye West more than I've more than I've wanted to on a daily basis. I go online but I can't go I can't scroll for 30 seconds without seeing his face. And I and if y'all know me bro, I, Kanye is my favorite artist of all time. But I've never seen him online this much. Everybody got something to say, everybody got an opinion. You know, what I will say is this though about the Kanye situation. I'll say this. Most of what he said was factual. I don't agree with you wanting to label a whole group as a certain like I don't I don't agree with you labeling a whole group a certain way because not all Jewish people have the access to the people that Kanye has dealt with. Most Jewish people do not have access to those people. And I don't and honestly from from listening to what he said over and over and over again his main sentiment was that these people have fucked over a lot of black artists in the industry because the Jewish and, and because Jewish, Jewish people Jewish people I'm sorry I said it a little bit Jewish people have a lot of power in the media in Hollywood in the music industry and they've used that power to to fuck over a lot of black artists and this goes back to Kanye, it goes back to Tupac, it goes back to Whitney Houston, it goes back to Prince, it goes back to Michael Jackson, it even goes as far back to, that I know of to even Sam Cooke in the 60s with the Jewish people and black people in the industry. It goes back a, it goes back a, a, a long way. So what Kanye is saying is not craziness. It's not. So... I, I honestly, I, I stand with Kanye. I stand with Kyrie. All he did, all he, all he did was promote a bit. All he did was, all he, all he did was, was promote a movie, trying to get people to understand their, their, their ancestry, and it's been taken the wrong way. So, I stand with Kyrie. I stand with Kanye. I hope that you know more black people can start to understand what like their ancestry and understand what's going on. And do their own research, not to hate Jewish people because I don't hate Jewish people. I don't. I don't look at them. I don't, I don't look at them any differently now. I just, I mean, I guess just now I know that they control a lot of different things. But outside of that, I look at them the same. Just whatever. I'm cool with everybody. But we need to be honest about what's going on here instead of painting people to be crazy and not just go off what the internet and, the, and what the media is telling you because the media is built to be very, very divisive. So I'm going to leave it there. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Do your own research about everything I'm talking about. If you, don't, if you, if you disagree, let me know in the comment section. But... Whatever you see online, make sure you do your own research. Take the time to understand what's going on because you can definitely spread, you know, the right messages out here to, 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 to people that need to hear it. So I'm going to leave it there. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We definitely going to hit it. We almost there. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.